the relationship to props. Uh, Anne had the handkerchief and the purse, and then you had the dip and the cigarettes, and even yeah. the way you guys walked and stuff. Yeah. How important were all those things to the character building? It grounds your character. You gotta think about it. like the handkerchief, that wasn't in the script, but that was my thing. You know, I know Southern women, they always store things yeah. in their breasts. They store all kinds of things in their bras. And <laughs> they do. like to work with uh, Taraji and Sam. Not a big deal, by the way. Yeah, not a big deal yeah, for a first yeah. time director, <laughs> right, 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 right? right? But I will tell you, you know, so I'd been I'd been producing for a while, so I was comfortable at least on set, but I was never the one who had to talk to two actors like that. I mean, you know. And they were incredibly gracious with me and, and open and, uh, you know, so I wasn't, I didn't have to be intimidated for long in the presence of such talent, so. Uh, there's a scene where Anne is just so fed up, you know, and she gets into the car and she's screaming at you and you're trying to be like, just come back in, come back in. Were there a lot of times where you just, where you're just like, you know what, I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, I just gotta go home. Obviously when you have people with strong personalities, uh, I expected that. I didn't expect it to the level that I got it, but I expected it. So I was a bit prepared, not fully prepared. Let me give you a minute worth of history. Yes. At the end of the charrette, the two um, co-chairs prepare a speech. And I asked both of them to write down something so I would have an idea of what they're going to say. Uh, an hour before, I asked if I could see them, and neither one of them had written down anything. And CP, when he tore up the card, other than things that have happened in my family, and that I, I'm not even going to compare that. But when you look at work that I've done and just my public life, it was the most touching thing that has ever happened. When you got the script, was there any moment of hesitation, like taking on such historical figures? No. I wanted to do it because of the subject matter. And I, I, we were just talking about this, Danny Strong, one of the um, creators of Empire, producers of Empire. He gave me this script when we first started filming Empire. So this, I got this script five years ago. And then when um, 45 got elected, I was like, we gotta make this film. <laughs> we gotta make this film now. And then we started the ball rolling because the subject matter is so important, it's so poignant and it's so now. And it's art imitating life in the best way. Yeah, I, I probably, looked at it a couple times like, oh God, I'm gonna play one of these guys, you know, but then I talked to Robin and I just felt like, it's just, I couldn't resist the chance to work with Taraji and this kind of, you know, kind of thing like this where, you know, and it's an important story and it's a beautiful story. It really you know? is. And what I love the most about, it's not just shedding light on hate, 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 and this group, this is all they do is hate and spread hate and fear. I liked how we dealt with the psyche of how young men get caught up in such a group. He had never been approached like that before. That's why he was sucked into KKK so fast because they gave him this false sense of love and, 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 and belonging, you know? But it was false and it was fake. It was all out of hate. But when, he, when someone really approached him from a loving place, that's when things change.